Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Today, I would like to unbox another diamond painting. This is a big one. So I have my camera up as far as I can get it, and hopefully I can get the majority of it in camera as I unwrap it. It is a 60 by 80, and this is the picture... It's a gorgeous, gorgeous butterfly, or butterfly, hummingbird with beautiful colored flowers. I got it from, let me bring it up, is it focusing? I got it from Zooey Star Boutique Store on AliExpress. It was $26.07, which I did not think was too bad for a 60 by 80 full square. I ordered it on March 8th, received it on April 4th. It took me quite a while to get this. It was, it got laid up somewhere and it did tell me it was going to be late. So it was almost an entire month before I received this one. So let's dig into this. Which side should we cut off? I always hate doing it. It was sent in those bubble wraps, which you would think would protect it really well, but no. Hate these bubble wraps. Unless, of course, it is on a foam roller. Then it's not so bad, but of course this one isn't. They always wrap these around the drills, so then your uh, canvas gets kind of wrinkled and squished and mm. okay we have it taped at both ends so yes this is a large one I don't know why I like 60 by 80s you know a lot of people they like the um, 30 by 40 it seems to be their size and I don't know, I'm like, go big or go home, you know. <laughs> so I have a ton of 60 by 80s, and wow, that's heavy. Alrighty. Let's take, and yeah, the canvas is quite crinkled in through here, if you can see that. So I hope it doesn't affect the canvas itself. Yeah, look at this. So, it does have the opaque covering because it is a square. Most squares um, do come with the opaque where a lot of the rounds come with the clear covering. Ooh, look at all these pretty colors. does come with an inventory sheet. It is not a hua can, so we will take a look at those in a little bit. Yeah, standard kit. All right, which way is up on this thing? Oh, wow, it is a big one. Okay, let me bring this part down under my desk so I can get the top part up here. Get this out of the way. Gotta clear my desk off a little bit for these big ones. Okay, let's see. I'm hitting my... Uh, camera stand over here so it's going to be hard to move it over but here is the thumbnail if you can see that the opaque covering does cover up the symbol so I'm going to have to cut this off a little but there are a ton of colors let's see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 and 1 2 2 3 2 4 2 5 2 6 2 7 2 8 2 9 2 3 2 1 3 43 colors in this baby okay let's see what the canvas itself looks like it is in the covering is in two strips and we will see if the canvas itself is okay even though it is you know crinkled a little bit 
but the glue itself seems really good. The canvas itself, symbols are extremely clear. Let me zoom you in so you can see that. So yeah, they look pretty clear. Look at them colors. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be gorgeous. Wow. When I seen the colors in this picture, I'm just like, oh yes, please. Oh God, that's gonna be gorgeous. All right, let me zoom you back out again. Okay, so there's the top part of this side. Let's go to the other side, which is the more crinkled side. We'll see how this side looks. If you see me, I always push this down on top so when you peel it off, the, the double-sided glue sheets don't come up with it. Sometimes when you peel that up, that, that glue comes up with it. This side seems a little bit wider than the others. The other side. Maybe not. Again, we do have wrinkles in here, but yeah, I'll just have to flatten it out under some books because the, let me see right here, looks like there might be something. No, no, I think the glue itself seems okay. Um, there are a few little you know, ripples in the glue, but I think that's just because of the canvas, and I think that will straighten out once we uh, put it under some books. So isn't that pretty? Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well, let's get this straightened out here where the Folks are the wrinkles. Okay, let's turn this baby around and we will look at the bottom. I like it when the uh, canvases are taller than wide because it works much better on my drafting table that way. <laughs> Okay, let's look at this side. Always being careful when you pull the top of the, <laughs> the covering back because it's very easy to rip. If you notice, I took my sweatshirt off because I didn't want it to get stuck in the glue on this big one. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is a lot of one color in there. Woohoo! There's some reds in with the pink, but there. Oh, pretty. Pretty, pretty. All the greens from the from the plants. In with the flowers. Let's not wrinkle it any more than it already is. Again, the canvas itself seems pretty good, though. It just basically seems to be, you know, um, have some, uh, some folds in it from being folded up around the drills. And typically, when you get them in them bubble mailers, that's what they do. They uh, do not put them on foam cores with the package of drills next to it. They always wrap the diamond painting itself around the drills. And here is the other side. Isn't that pretty? 
and yes, it is nice and sticky. So I think, let's look at the canvas over here. Yes, very nice, very, very nice. And again, I think this will completely flatten out under some heavy, heavy books. I will need a lot of books. <laughs> Good thing I have a lot of coloring books, right? Just get out a whole crap load of them. There. All right. So that is the diamond painting itself. Let me move that out of the way over here on the floor so I don't roll over it with my chair. That wouldn't be good, would it? And let's look at the pretty part. Here comes the crinklies. If I can find where to open it. There we go. Lots and lots of drills <laughs> in this one. Okay, here we have our inventory sheet. And I can bring you back down a little bit now that we're done looking at the huge canvas. Do get some baggies in here. I do not use them. <laughs> Okay. All right. Yes, I will go through the inventory. Tells you your symbol, the DMC number, how many packs you should have, and then how many drills total in that color. So we just worry about, of course, the number of packs that we should have of that particular color. There are 33 packs of 602, which is a pretty pink. 20 of 833. 25 of 906, which is a green. So, okay. Let's look at the drills themselves. It's always fun getting these all packed back in the plastic. <laughs> so that it all fits back together. Here we have a lot of the 5200s, which is your white. Some purples. We have quite a few of purples and pinks. So of course this picture drew my eye, right? Lots of different purples. I'm not gonna go through, you know, and say, well, this is 910, this is you know, we'll just kind of look at them in general or we'll be here all day. Lots and lots of pink colors. Look at this. This, this is the 602 where there's, what What did I say, 40-some packs? Uh, 33. Yeah, 33 packs of 602. Look at that. Woohoo! <laughs> 600s, very similar color. And they do have like a sage green. Here is one of the colors I, in one of the videos that uh, something happened to, I did give some tips. This is one that um, I had mentioned. Now is this a 666 or is it a 999? Okay, the one way that you can tell which color it is, if you notice on this side, there's like a flat side, and then this side is the side that's uh, sealed shut. Take another color that you know what the number is, like this one is 159. Flat sides over here, sealed shuts on here. Just compare them. Okay, I know it's 666 because they're facing the same way. So that is one way that you can figure out those um, few numbers where, you know, like 969 or, you know, uh, your eight, you know, it's not 999 because it doesn't match up. Okay, does that make sense? Just a little tip. Um, I had heard some others in the past uh, that mentioned, okay, is that, 666 plus the fact I know 666 is this real bright red orange. So, 
so all right we have lots of different yellows and oranges too uh, light gray let's get out that was one pack of drills <laughs> let's get out the other pack of drills we do have some pretty blues this one got all twisted up And we have some more reds and blues. 817, that's a pretty color too. Okay, we have some more kind of purpley pinks, a lot of this color. Some more reds. cream color, some more blues, kind of a mauve color, another orange, some more pinks. You can tell there's a lot of pink color in this picture. Real light beige, some more oranges, and then we get to all the green. So this is a lot of this color. <laughs> ton of that green and we have some deeper green that's all one real deep colored green and there's quite a bit of this one too like a forest green am I gonna have any three tens in this let me see oh yeah 11 that's probably what this is now this is the type, and this is where how a lot of them come in the clear packs, but they don't have the white strip. You know, some of them will have the white strip down it, and then they will have the number on that in like a in nice big letters numbers in this case, and so they're very easy to be read. These where the drills are dark and you got black numbers is sometimes really hard to see. So I really like that when they have the white strip down them and they're a little bit wider of a pack. Um, but this is probably the most common way that you get your drills. And we have some more whites. Yeah, that's about it. A few more pinks. And I guess that is it. Wowzer Rousers, huh? Lots and lots of drills. So, I am going to go through this inventory, make sure everything is here so that I can confirm delivery of this particular picture. Again, I will link this down below. And of course, you can get, you know, different size than 60 by 80. You don't have to order it this big. I like doing the big ones um, because I love all the detail. Um, if you have a more simplistic type of picture, you definitely don't need to go as big. But the more detailed the picture, kind of a little bit bigger you need to go because otherwise it's going to start looking real pixelated. Um, you know, as, as most of you know that have done diamond painting already. But yeah, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. The, again, the canvas, I think, should straighten out under some weight. So, okay, I am going to go through the inventory off camera. I don't want to bore you to death by going through that on camera. So, I will leave it here, and I hope you enjoyed this unboxing, unbagging, unwrapping, whatever you want to call it. And if you do, hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I hope everybody's having a terrific Friday. This is Friday morning, so the weekend is upon us, almost. Um, so, as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. Bye!